Hey guys, and welcome back to r slash I don't work here, lady. We got some more Reddit posts to check out today, so be sure to like and subscribe, and let's get into it. A lab coat does not a doctor make. So I think this one qualifies, even though I did technically work in the same building. You'll see what I mean. One summer, between first and second year of university, I managed to get a job at a pathology lab through a friend who already worked there. Basically, if there was something that took no technical expertise to do, then it was my job. Taking and unpacking deliveries, moving bins, working in the storeroom, all part of my glamorous new job. It paid better than any other summer job I was likely to get though, so I was happy to have it. Bizarrely, I was still required to wear a lab coat. This was because of the materials I had to handle occasionally, and the fact I did have to walk in and out of the actual labs on a regular basis. One of my duties was to change the burn bin every morning. The burn bin contained stuff like used microscope slides, cultures, and anything else gross and disposable that came out of the lab. It was a huge bright yellow commercial bin on wheels with a lock on it. I had to push it down the central corridor of the hospital, out of a side door, drop it off at a pickup point where it was taken away to be burnt, then drag an empty one all the way back. The main corridor I went down was like the spine of the hospital. Doors on either side would take you to various wards and departments. So one day I'm doing my bin dragging duty, just passing one of the wards, when I hear someone say, Excuse me, doctor. I keep moving because it didn't occur to me that they could mean me. But we're on this sub so you know where this is going. Doctor? Doctor, said the angry lady. My jacket gets grabbed from behind, so I stopped. Sorry, doctor, I'm sure you're busy, but I have a few questions about my mom, if that's alright. I stare at her dumbfounded for a second, because I honestly had no idea how she could possibly mistake me for a doctor in this situation. I'm sorry, miss, but I'm not a doctor, I said. You're wearing a lab coat. Yeah, I work in the path lab, so I have to wear it, but I'm not a doctor. She crossed her arms, looked at me, looked at the blue lanyard with the keycard I'm wearing, and then looked suddenly really angry. And she says, Look at you. You have the coat and a lanyard. You're obviously a doctor. Just because you're busy doesn't mean you can just ignore patients. People like you are why the NHS are in the state it's in. I've never been blamed for the failings of a national institution before, so that was a novelty. I tried to reason with her and said, Miss, I'm clearly too young to be a doctor. I was 19. My lanyard says pathology lab on it, and I'm pushing a bin. I don't know how it could be any clearer that I'm not a doctor. If you'll excuse me, I need to carry on with my job. If you ask at the ward, I would think they'd be the better people to ask your questions. I then take off as fast as a man pushing a large box of disease has ever moved. I drop it off, pick up an empty, and head back towards the lab. When I hear, that's him. The angry lady is now talking to a nurse and gesticulating like crazy, pointing at me occasionally. The nurse looks incredibly confused. I found someone who's actually willing to do their job, unlike some, said the lady. And the confused nurse responds with, Miss, I thought you said you spoke to a doctor. This isn't a doctor. He's pushing a bin and he appears to be about 12. <laughs> Thanks for that, nurse. I'll just head over to the burn unit now. I'd love to tell you how the rest of the conversation went, but I wasn't risking getting pulled back into that mess. I just kept going with my bin, and when I got back to the lab reported what had happened to my manager, in case any complaints came up. Yes, because anyone in a hospital wearing a lab coat is obviously a doctor. Sounds like someone that's watched way too many hospital TV shows. I said I don't work here. A few years ago, I was on my lunch break from my old job. I worked in a department store selling makeup, skincare, etc. We didn't really have a uniform per se, but just had to wear neat black clothing. We had a bright orange lanyard with my work's name emblazoned all over it to keep our store and locker keys on. We also wore a name badge with the store's colors and name. I usually liked to take it off when I left the store. I didn't like so many randoms knowing my name, if I could help it. Anyway, for some reason, I always get asked questions assuming I work there when I go into other stores. It happens to me all the time, even in my casual clothes. Is it me? Does my face or demeanor shout overworked, underpaid retail worker? I shudder to think. So anyway, I'm in the supermarket, literally bending down checking out the tampons, pondering if I can withstand another day of retail hell without snapping and losing it. This older woman approaches me and just stands beside me. She doesn't move for a while, so I look up and smile at her, about to apologize, thinking maybe she needs some tampons too and I'm in the way. But no, 
She gives me this like, Finally, I've been standing here for 45 minutes, look, I know all too well. Can you tell me where the baking soda is? She practically growls. I'm sorry, I don't work here, I say, still crouched on the ground like a gremlin. You mean you don't work in that department? No, I deadpan. I don't work here. I touch my lanyard with my work clearly written on it, and she looks at me like I've grown another head. So you're not going to tell me where it is? By this stage, I'm actually concerned this woman is actually insane. So I stand up and tap my badge again, slowly saying the words to her like you would the dumbest kid you've ever met. I do not work here at this store, okay? I gesture around me, then back to the name of my work hanging around my neck, printed roughly 15 times. She glares at me, thinking that she can scare or intimidate me. But she doesn't realize I have been desensitized to care and wildness since my first retail job at 15. She scoffs, mutters something about me being extremely rude, then heads off to berate some other poor innocent soul. Funny thing is, I worked at my job for almost 7 years, and frequented that supermarket so often I probably could have told her where to find the baking soda, but I hate rewarding bad behavior. And so that people is why I no longer work in retail. I don't work for you, specifically. A couple years back I worked for a very large resort style place. It was where some very very wealthy people had vacation homes. This place was huge as it was basically its own town and I happen to be in a small subsection of the largest department. Now it's important to note that the uniforms my small team wore were completely different from the vast majority of the people in this department because we were very specialized. We wore blue shirts and gray pants. Most of the rest of the department wore green shirts with khaki pants. Actually, I'm fairly certain that we were the only team, other than on-site EMTs, who had blue uniforms. It was a big place, lots of employees, so most everyone in public-facing jobs were essentially color-coded. Anyways, it was literally my second to last day on the job, and I had to go to the main office for the department, because that's where we kept things that we didn't need all the time. Space was extremely limited in our office. I run inside, pick up the box that we need, and head back out to my vehicle. A lady who is wearing a green shirt walks up to me, and since I try to be a decent person, I smile and say hello. Oh, perfect. I need help taking a whole bunch of crap over to the banquet hall, said the lady. I'm very clearly holding a heavy box that is labeled for my team, and I say, Uh, I'm on a tight schedule, sorry. My team worked a very time-sensitive position. I'm talking down to the second sometimes. That can wait. I need help now, she says. I'm really sorry, but I need to get this to... I don't care, you need to help me, she interrupts. Completely out of f**ks to give, I say. Not to be rude, but you aren't my supervisor, and my actual supervisor will tear me a new one if I don't get back to our office right now. I'm going to tell the head of the department about this, she says. I say over my shoulder as I walk away. Go ahead, he's in his office right now. I just said hi to him. Anyway, I headed over to my office, and pretty much forgot about the interaction, because we were slammed that day and it was non-stop until we closed. The next day was my last day on the job, so I wasn't surprised to see the head of the department show up when my shift was almost over. He was a really good guy, one of the best upper management types I have ever met, and really made an effort to get to know everyone in his department. My supervisor and I greeted him and we chatted while I finished up cleaning up my station. The department head, suddenly very grave, says, OP, I got a very concerning report about you yesterday. Apparently you refused to give assistance to a lady when she asked for it. Oh yeah, I was bringing supplies from storage back here and didn't have time. She was kind of rude. The department head, grinning widely at his own joke, says, Well in that case, I'm afraid I'll have to let you go if you don't apologize to her. I'm terribly sorry it has to end this way, department head, but I must stick to my principles. He laughed, shook my hand, and told me I could always count on him for a good reference, while my supervisor cackled in the background. It wasn't a perfect job, but it was one of the better ones, and I'll always be a little sad that I had to move away, but at least it ended with a pretty good chuckle. Woman confuses me for employee, gets locked out of the store leaving her groceries behind. So last night I'm finishing up my shift as an EMT, and it's been a long and tiring one. The calls weren't bad, but there were a lot of them, and we were all over the damn county. Shift is over, I change back into my comfy clothes, sweats, t-shirt, and a hoodie, and I head to the store to get something for dinner. I get there just in time since they're closing in 10 minutes. I assure the cashier that I was just grabbing something quick, and I go and pick up a lasagna from the frozen section. 
I grab them and turn to head to the checkout, when I hear, ahem, not a throat clearing sound but someone saying it like they were reading it out loud. I turn and look to see a woman and she snaps off a, I need you to go in the back and get me a pack of the frozen pretzels. I say that I don't work here and point out where an employee just went behind an end cap. The woman snaps, you do work here and you need to stop being lazy and get me my pretzels. I again say, I don't work here, and turn to walk to the self-checkout. She flips her sh** and storms off, muttering about lazy employees and managers. I finish checking out, and I'm grabbing my stuff and leaving, when I see her again with her car and a manager, and she yells, there she is, that's the lazy b**** and she starts towards me. I'm not even going to engage, and so I hold up my receipt and my one item to the self-check girl and walk out. I hear the manager raising his voice and saying, Ma'am? 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 Turns out she left her cart behind and stormed out of the store to confront me. I get in my car to drive off, but she's standing in front of it, so I can't go anywhere. She's also giving me a tongue lashing that I'm too checked out to really pay attention to. The manager sticks his head out of the door and hollers, Ma'am. She turns and makes a hushing motion towards him. He hollers Ma'am one more time, and she hollers back, saying, I'm dealing with your employee since you're too much of a little bitch to do it yourself. He bristles and says, Madam. She cuts him off with, Shut the f up, screeched at the top of her lungs. He shrugs, and I watch him go back inside, fiddle with the locks, flip the sign to closed, and pull down the shades. As I'm watching this, she gets annoyed that I'm not paying her my full attention, and she yells, What the hell are you looking at that's so damn important to ignore me? I just pointed at the shop and said, They just closed and locked the doors. I'm not sure what she screamed since it was pretty incoherent, but she did run towards the door. Seeing my chance, I drove off, leaving her pounding on the door and cursing. I don't care what you think about eggs. I'm at the grocery store in regular summer clothes. I'm in the egg section. A man asks me what eggs are good. I like these ones, I say, and I point to slightly more expensive eggs, then grab some for myself. What, five dollars for eggs? You have to be kidding me, he says. You asked what ones are good, I replied. I can't believe you can sit here and try to sell me on five dollar eggs. You are telling me you think I need to buy those eggs so you can make more money? I'm laughing and I say, buddy, what the f*** are you talking about? I am not an egg salesman. He yells, Now you are getting smart with me. You think that is funny? You want me to spend my hard-earned money on these expensive eggs? For what? Bullsh**. Why are you yelling? I ask. He's still yelling about me trying to scam him, and the store overcharging on eggs. So I say to him, You are acting like I have an interest in you buying eggs. He says something, implying I work at the store. Then says, You came over and told me I needed these eggs. And I just respond with, you are right. You need those eggs. You need to buy them right now. Buy the eggs. Then I walk away. No kidding, minutes later from a few aisles over, I hear him still ranting about someone at the store is trying to force him to spend $5 on eggs. He was yelling loud. I was crying. I was laughing so hard. I hope he tells people his side of the story on how someone tried to force him to buy eggs and he didn't want to. That is it for today friends, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to drop a like, I'd really appreciate it. And also, subscribe if you haven't already. So I'm out of here, have an awesome day and until next time.